What you're about to see is approximately 12 minutes of virtually never before seen video footage inside the Bent Pyramid of Egypt, which is among one of the most mysterious sites from ancient Egypt as it's been closed off to the public for more than 50 years. In fact, because of that, even researchers and notable Egyptologists such as the late and legendary John Anthony West himself never had the opportunity to enter the Bent Pyramid, which was one of his longtime wishes. However, the Bent Pyramid just reopened to the public in June of 2019, and I was fortunate enough to be in Egypt this last November and December of 2020. And on November 30th, I had the privilege of going into the Bent Pyramid with Ben of the awesome channel Uncharted X, along with Yusuf Ayan from the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism. And I took my, iPhone, my iPhone 12 Pro, and I have about approximately 12 minutes of outstanding footage for you. Now, before I play the clip, just keep in mind that this starts off at the tunnel entrance, which is somewhere between 40 and 50 feet off the ground. In fact, an entire staircase had to be constructed just to get up there. And the tunnel shaft itself is three feet wide and three feet tall. I was literally squatting the entire way down, which was a leg workout to say the least, and I make jokes on it in the video. But I'm gonna play the video clip, and then I'm gonna make a comment and then show you another shorter clip. So without further ado, here we go. Just do a quick little frame of reference at the Bent Pyramid. Holy shit. Yeah, this is this is cramped. I am bent more than halfway over. This is unreal. It's this little thing here. Yeah, this is no joke. Yeah, it's like you got way shorter. Yeah, it's I've hit the roof a few times already. And this is 80 something meters, I believe 87 meters tunnel. Now, if you look at the sides, that if precision. It were I had the railings, I'd just slide down. You see the blocks? This is next level pain in the ass construction. A tunnel carved through these rocks. Some of it looks like bedrock, I don't know. I'll shut up because I always know how annoying it is. When people narrate while filming. I just want to see. Oh my god, this is nuts. Whew. Yeah, good, I'm at the, the halfway mark. <laughs> you feel in the legs. Are we into bedrock yet? I don't even know where. I'm not exactly situated. I mean, look at this. You got that. The lines. So yeah, this is, look at the, just take a second to see the precision. So I'm walking through a tunnel of a bunch of freaking huge stones that are pieced together. <sighs> Leg day, bruh. Leg day. Holy shit. Oh my god. Leg day, bruh. Yeah, he's gotta get a shot back this way. Wow. 87 meters, or 86, or whatever. Whew, hold on. All right. Oh, wow. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh my god, look at this. This is one steep. Oh my. Oh my god, because I'm looking with my eyes. It's probably at least 100 feet. Or like 80 or 90. I don't know. And then the walls. Look at this. Look at this precision. Just for 
comparison. Here's my. Hold on a second. Let me get my. Where the hell's my hotel room key? Hold on. Let me show you. Hold on. I want to be careful what I take out. Just. It's my driver's license. For perspective. Yeah. Look at this. All just block after block after block. The homie just uses like laser measuring thing and found out this is about two And then this is like, let me count the stories. One, two, three, four. I think that's five or six levels. Yeah, it looks like five. Alright, just keep filming. I'm going up. Bring that guitar. Whip it out. Just film the whole thing. Not if I squeeze by. Thank you so much. Hey, catch my phone real quick. I, I want the shot of it recording as it falls. <laughs> And let's just take a look. So here you got the, oh wow. I hope the phone is picking up the way I see it. This is nuts. Block after block, piece together. We're, this pyramid, the Ben Pyramid just opened in 2019, I believe in June. After something like 20 years of restoration, which is funny, because in modern times it takes us 20 years to restore something that was said to be of constructed in 20 something years in the ancient times. Think about that. See guys, this isn't, this isn't a tomb. You see the design of all this and we're up. So I'm on the fifth floor right now. Let me look down, zoom in, you see. Like below me, they're like, it's like at least 60 feet. And I look up, so we're at like, up here it's at least 60, 70 feet. I don't know, it was a guess, maybe 80. And just the nature of the layout. All right, I'm still going. Look at these blocks. All just stacked in. Look at this tunnel. Ow, fuck. I hit my back. I'll live. Um, yeah, I'm totally posting this on Insta. Hi there. Mind if I squeeze through real quick? Come, come. Yes. Yeah. Come. Mind if I squeeze through, please? I didn't see him. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, up there he is. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> I keep it in my back. This is great. Lagging behind. Oh, wow. Is there a room to fit through or no? Uh, not really. You're going to have to. All right, you know what? Then I'll just. It's not that far. There's only a couple. Yeah, you only got a couple. Here. Hi, Ben. I'm doing a full uh, video tour. Yeah, you're on camera. Ben, Uncharted X. How is it in there? It's wonderful. It's yeah, there's a couple of features. The uh, you see the the breeze up there. There's a, a stone sledge to the right that used to block that western entrance. Yeah. Port color stone, and then you go up to the bat cave. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what a bat cave looks like. Just maybe let. <laughs> can we tell people back there? There's still people coming up. Yeah. yeah. I would love to get through. Can you slide by yeah. now? I can. See, oh yeah. You sneak, sneak in there, mate. I'll try and sneak past it too. Yeah, we got room. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah, tons of room. Yeah. <laughs> How is it, Jana? Oh yeah, it's a little so dark. Many so many bats. Are you like there really is bats in here? Oh yeah. Oh good. They're going on Insta too. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. Hey, what's going on, Doug? So funny. Oh, and it goes this way. It goes this way. Okay. Let me squeeze my part. Sheila, how are you? Good. It's nice in here, isn't it? Hi, Connie. Woo, Todd, how is it? Good. And where would this go? That's, uh, that's an airflow chamber out to the western, western um, outside of the pyramid. Yeah. That's where the airflow is coming from. Right, hold on, I know this is shaky camera stuff, but I don't want to stop recording simply because I want everyone to see the tour of this place. Give me. I'm going to get a flashlight out. There's my friend Ben from Australia, calls it a torch. Which I think is great. One second, guys. I just wasn't anticipating to be this cramped. Okay. 
didn't ask you your first name, I forgot. That's good, David. David. Connie. Connie. So what am I looking at here? I would like to know where that all goes, and it goes up. <laughs> That's weird. These, those are obviously more modern cuts. Okay. So everybody going down here, Look at this, so I'm in another tunnel with this incredible precision of cut blocks. And I am a few hundred feet up off the ground. Oh, well, actually, no, I don't know that because we went down for a while, then we went back up. So I'm probably around the same level that I was at with the stairs. I don't know, I'm just blabbing. Okay, there's some bats. You probably can't see them, but they are there. Those are bats. That's a big bat. Oh, wow. Oh wait, maybe it's not. There are bats. That one's not a bat, but those are bats. <sighs> Up here. <sighs> like what is this? This is nothing about this is like a tomb. This is not a burial site. It really isn't. You guys have heard me talk about that a million times. But look and think for yourselves. Like, oh yeah, this is just a layout of where you would bury someone and oh of course we never found a mummy whatsoever in any of these tombs. But you know. Where does this go under these stairs? Okay, now there's kind of a weird smell in here. That's gotta be bad shit. I've been to a zoo before. Oh my god. Had these lots of wood and then these small pieces of stone just to make a ceiling on top of it. Yeah, pardon me. As you can see, lots were removed from here and from there. So they used to be other Three or four logs Now that's where the camera cuts off because it was a little crowded and loud in there, but I have another minute long clip which I started playing when I went back down that five level stairwell, which will give you a different perspective of what I saw. So let me show that to you now. So that's the chamber we were just in. It goes all the way to the top as we were just up there, way up there. And then we go down this steep, steep set of steps, which aren't even supposed to be there. Look at that, because it's all hollow, so keep that in mind. There are no steps here. And when you see these steps, this is the tunnel I went down in originally, and that's on the way out. Yeah, up and out. And so nothing about this is meant for humans to be able to move around in. There's no steps, there's no nothing without us putting it in there. And it just goes up. This isn't a maze in order to keep tomb robbers out. Never mind the fact that there was no mummy found in here. It's just something, it seems functional. So leg day, bruh. Is it just me or is that place absolutely incredible? And was it like anything you expected it to look like. And you gotta keep in mind, we're seeing it as it is today with all these stairwells that were built into it. And keep in mind that people have been going through there doing whatever humans do, beating up the place for the last hundreds and even thousands of years. Keep in mind when you saw that chamber in there, the King's Chamber, which I mean, never was found with any mummy or sarcophagi guys, that wasn't there. So that whole roof system that you see busted and the logs laying across it, that was a sealed chamber. So who knows exactly what has taken place in there? And, and of course, they also use explosives in there too. I mean, the place was wrecked. So we have no idea what truly happened there or what its original originality looked like, but I will say this. Picture it in your mind without all those stairs and explain how it would make sense for that to be a tomb for anybody. Imagine moving a, a mummy and a sarcophagi up where there are no stairs into that tunnel that goes in. I mean, something, I'm just gonna say it. I do not believe for a second that that was built with the purpose of being a tomb for the pharaohs. I think it's a silly idea. It's not backed by hardly any evidence at all. And not only that, that theory didn't even exist in Egypt to about 150, 160 years ago when a bunch of outsiders from other countries, invaders, came in and said, that's what it is. A lot of people don't realize that the Egyptians themselves, the locals, populace, don't believe that they were meant to be tombs for the pharaohs, or at least not many of them. So, you know, these are details that a lot of people aren't aware of, but let me also say this. I took several hundred photos on my outstanding mirrorless camera. So you haven't seen any of that yet because right now I'm not filming this on my typical setup because I'm traveling. I'll share more about that in a second. 
So I will be making a full peer or uh, video about the bent pyramid in the future. We'll explain all the different details about it and also mention the fact that the very nature itself of being bent and how the so-called experts claim that that was just an accident on behalf of the Egyptians, like, no guys, that's stupid. The Egyptians didn't make mistakes like that and they could have fixed it. I believe that this thing was functional. I think it had something to do with frequency and vibration, probably channeled water and air through it. I'm not trying to convince you of that. I don't know that. But I think this is beyond our level of understanding and maybe, just maybe, some really impressive things were happening here on Earth in the distant past, and now it's freaking gone, guys. So stay tuned to a future video on that, and, and let me just say that I'm gonna be posting another video of raw, unedited footage of me inside the second pyramid, the so-called Pyramid of Khafre, which <laughs> wasn't his pyramid either. Uh, and that goes from the Sphinx, the Causeway up it, to the second pyramid, and let me just say that I have significant reason to believe that that pyramid was built before the Great Pyramid of Giza, which I originally thought that was the first one and the most impressive. But Ben from Uncharted X sold me otherwise, and I think that there's some real truth to that, that the Second Pyramid was the first, because so many things about it are even more impressive than the Great Pyramid, and these are details I never knew about, so I went and saw it with my own eyes. So look forward to that. But I also say this when I say that I'm not on my current setup. So if you watched my recent live stream video, I mentioned that I'd have some details to share in the, in the future, and so I'll share it now. I've been living in Boise for the last four and a half years, although I'm in Arizona right now as I film this, and I'm moving back to Arizona. I'm gonna be going back to Idaho soon to finish things up there, uh, complete the move, but I couldn't be more excited to be making this move to be closer with family and friends, and it's, it's just gonna help Jimmy to be able to make videos on a more regular basis that I'll have other things around in my life that are necessary. So Idaho's wonderful. I, I recommend Boise to other people, but uh, it's time for Jimmy to uh, move on and. Yeah, I love talking in third person. <laughs> but anyways, but yeah, so stay tuned. Once I have my full setup here, I'll be able to start making video presentations with all the pictures and slides like I typically do so I can explain things in more detail. But it is fun sharing these unedited videos through my iPhone, which I thought took some pretty good quality shots. So anyways, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this. I mean, again, picture this bent pyramid and the entrance itself being 40, 50, maybe may even 60 feet, but I wanna say 40, 50 feet off the ground. That staircase didn't exist. It's flat with all the casing stones. Like, so to get up there in the first place is something else. Um, and the very nature about it, what do you guys think this was? I mean, it's all about having ideas and thinking for yourself. And if there's one thing I always say on this channel is to think for yourself. But anyways, guys, I'm Jimmy. My channel's called Bright Insight. Hit the like button and subscribe. And again, leave a comment sharing your thoughts. But Stay tuned to another video real soon. Take care, everybody.